On this my first episode of a new series called Forgotten Classics, we're going to take a look at a western that just about everybody skips over, an American western, but I think is actually in most ways really good. Let's take a look at the late 1950s Hollywood western, The Hanging Tree, coming up next. <laughs> The Hanging Tree stars Gary Cooper late in his career, also co-starring Carl Malden, great character actor, and a bit part, interestingly, with George C. Scott. It takes place in 1870s Montana during a gold rush, and at this location, they haven't struck gold yet, but they hope to. There's a lot of big operations, a lot of miners, would-be miners, moving into the territory. One of the people who moves in is this old doctor dressed in black, played by Gary Cooper. He's got a lot of secrets in his past, he's a little shady, and the movie actually opens with a young kid trying to steal gold out of a sluice ribbon that's created by these miners. They shoot at this kid, he's shot, but he runs away. The doctor saves the kid, hides him, but then actually blackmails him into becoming his bond servant. This would seem to indicate this doctor is even more of a shady character than we thought. He's forcing this kid, this 20 year old kid, into becoming basically his slave, as he says, maybe for life. A little bit later in the movie, a Swedish immigrant woman is rescued. Her coach was robbed. Her father was killed. She was left outside for several days. The doctor has to heal her. Now, a lot of tensions develop in this movie around issues of justice and fairness and property rights. And the miners in the town don't trust the doctor so much. In fact, this movie pits the doctor, a man of medicine and therefore of science, against this George C. Scott character who is a natural healer and a psychic figure, and he's also just downright crazy. Don't turn your evil eyes on me, Joseph Frail. Brethren, beware! The Bible says... Here's his Bible. <laughs> beware, Joseph Frail. He who diggeth the pit shall fall into it. The doctor, it turns out, has a lot of money and he ends up helping secretly this woman who buys a claim and works with one of the miners played by Carl Malden. Now the Malden character is kind of an okay working class guy until you see him being too greedy and being very shady. So the tensions in this movie, as usual in the Western, between the great individual male hero, the doctor, and then the townspeople, sort of led by the crazies, including the George C. Scott healer character, and then later, as this movie develops, the Carl Malden character, who sometimes you side with and sometimes you don't. The title of the movie is The Hanging Tree, and in the very first frames, you see a tree that's been used for hanging, and it's got a noose around it. And of course, guess what's going to happen later in the movie? They're going to come back to that tree and probably have a hanging or two or three. Now what makes this great, I would say that this movie is up there with some of John Ford's best work. Now, the director here is Delmer Daves, who did the great 310 to Yuma. That's probably the one you've seen of all his work. He's a great compositionalist, and he knows how to put characters in certain places in the frame. There's got to be at least 10 shots in this movie that are just tremendous and very interesting. It even looks to me like he studied some of the Japanese masters like Kurosawa, but some Kurosawa-esque compositions in this movie. Really, there's nothing out of place compositionally. I think that's one great reason why you should watch this. Another reason why this is a forgotten classic, it's really setting up Westerns to come. It's preparing the way for Sam Peckinpah in the next 10 years, for example. You got a lot of prostitutes in this movie, prostitutes with venereal disease who are gonna die. You've got the threat of rape in this movie. In fact, I showed this to my kids and they asked me, you know, what's going on in this movie? And I couldn't quite say, well, he's trying to rape her, but this happens a couple times in this movie. The Doctor, played by Gary Cooper, as I've indicated, a man in black, a gambler, is a seedy character with a shady past. You don't trust him all the way. Miss, you will be my bond servant and do as I tell you. You can go to hell. <clears throat> you know what this is? It's the bullet I dug out of you. Unusual caliber. 
Even if they didn't see your face, this would be your mark for the hanging tree. I have almost no doubt that the Coen brothers have watched this. I feel like The Ballad of Buster Scruggs, for example, is quoting this movie a lot. And I won't say the characters are complex, but, you know, they really are, given that the doctor has basically enslaved a kid. He might be falling in love with this patient whom he saved, and vice versa, but that shouldn't be happening. The characters of the miners in the town, like the Carl Malden, I'm sympathized with, but then, then I don't. And then it, the movie just sort of tugs you back and forth between who you should root for and who you shouldn't. I haven't ever seen this movie on Great Western's list, which is strange to me. I think it should be up there on the American Film Institute's list. It's one of the better Westerns you're ever gonna see from the 1950s if we just wanna single out that decade. I've watched a bunch of these and most of them are not that great or just okay. This one is above the cut. There are a couple of things in it that bother me. You know, in this moment in time, Hollywood is trying to create pop songs and generate pop song hits from their movies. This one begins with a Marty Robbins tune. If you're like me and you've played Fallout New Vegas for hundreds of hours, you know who Marty Robbins is, you've heard this voice. The tune doesn't really fit the movie though. The movie has some interesting angles and I'm not sure if I agree with them or not, but close-ups and weird angles of characters who are then taken to be bad, I think it overdoes it a couple times. And then the ending is a little too conventional. It takes the safe, easy way out for me. I think if this were a movie made 10, 20 years later, certainly you could have a harder edge to this movie, a little bit darker. I think that would work maybe better for this movie in the end. George C. Scott is just weird here, and it's interesting to think about him becoming, you know, the character in Dr. Strangelove in about three or four years from this point. Come unto me, and I will lay my hands on you, and my hands will make you well. So, so I think some of you, perhaps a lot of you, are going to enjoy The Hanging Tree. Have you seen this movie? Do you have questions about it? What do you want to know? Please subscribe to this channel as well for more great movie content and more forgotten classics. Thank you very much. Have a great day.